Estongo Semanologue Jeremy Fultz, Chaho Jeff Kudo, Samo Janeta Hadamneta, Hilo Jimpompala, Moan, Monday and Hayatki, Alagis Moan. I wonder who sat next to me today. The wheel of guesses is spinning. And it's Florence back in the studio. What up, Florence? Zongo, Flo, Chow, Chif, Kudos. Again, this is... Oh. Oh. (laughs) This is Jeremy Fultz with the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma radio program. Today is August the 27th, a beautiful Tuesday morning. And um, we got some announcements that we can go through, but you know what, Florence? Yes. It is getting that time for Nation Days, and I think the nation's starting to get in full, well, they call it full swing of things, and so the people will start seeing a lot of announcements coming out, and we have some announcement about Nation Days as well, and some of the events going on, mm-hmm. but before we get into that, Florence, how was your weekend? Um, my weekend was pretty good. I ate a lot, <laughs> as I do, as I do so well. Not Um... Sulgan Home Banks. Not good though. What? What'd you eat? Oh, uh, what did I have? Did you eat anything good? I had some good sauerkraut and weenies. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's always a solid weekend staple. It is. You know, I always look forward to that. You know, though, I went to church the last couple weeks ago and mm-hmm. I'll be. I'll be standing beside myself if I didn't see them kids going in there and stealing them weenies before Uh everyone (laughs) everyone went through the line. And I was like, oh, Lee, they just left kraut. But um, let's see, what else is going on? What did I do this weekend? It was kind of a a slow weekend for me. Kind of worked on a lot of house stuff, so I stayed in the city this weekend. Didn't get a chance to really go out and visit anywhere. But it was a good weekend. But other than that, let's kind of get into it. Florence, Alrighty. you got the church meetings this week? Yes. All right. Let me see your computer. Oh, are you, can you yeah. not get in? Uh-uh. Okay. It locked me out. In God. All righty. What is today? The 27th. <gasps> so. This weekend will be September the 1st. All righty. Okay, Arbica, Big Arbor, Hickory Ground Number One, High Springs, High Springs, Conawa, Hilltop, Little Casita, Middle Creek Number One, New Arbor, Okima, Rock Spring, Anadarko, Real Community, Ryle, Ryle Community, Ryle Community, Salt Creek Baptist, Seminole Baptist, Seminole or Seminole Creek, E, Snake Creek Number One and Number Two. Trenton, Vine Creek, and Wegawa. All right, you get bonus points if you know where Ryle is at. Florence, I think you just went by there a couple of weeks ago. Did I really? Ryle Community. Is that like my I- IXL? No, it's between Dustin and Henrietta. Ryle. Oh. Yeah, so. Oh. But yeah, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I guess you didn't get those bonus points this week. But, I guess I did. But yeah, if you um, are interested in visiting some of the, the churches that's having a church meeting this week, feel free to um, go and visit and fellowship. We usually say every week if you're planning on going and visiting the church, you might just give someone a call that goes to that church because a lot of churches like to visit other churches during that time. And September 1st being Odawuskaji. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, it would be a good time to get out and um, yeah, it's that time of the year where things hopefully start cooling down mm-hmm. just a little bit and so yeah, it'll be a good time. What else we got going on? Okay. And then every week we uh, talk about the ones that have started their journey and a lot of families are missing loved ones today. We remember uh, those families and or let's remember those families and members of the community and your thoughts and in your prayers and then you know we've we've had some big losses this uh, last couple of weeks and uh, working in the language program where we get you know pretty close to some of our elders that come through that like to speak the language and that you know has taken their time to talk to us in the language and 
there i just like to make the mention of a, a couple folks and that have made their journey like uh former chief jerry haney you know he 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 did a lot for the community and we know his services were last week but um i wasn't on last week to kind of talk about that but you know jerry used to come by the language program after he was retired up until right before he got sick and he would spend hour you know jerry came it was going to be a two three hour visit <laughs> and so he'd be hanging in the in the office and you know i got a lot of recordings of jerry and um telling stories about um the old days even here on the radio show and um telling jokes and you know one of my fond memories with jerry is my my whole like my whole point every time I saw him I was like I got to tell him a new joke that he didn't maybe hasn't heard yet and so man I always tried to make that guy laugh and you know he's going to be missed uh, considerably in the in the community and um, s especially as a speaker and then another Jerry passed away the week before that and so Jerry McCain passed away and we want to remember his family and your thoughts and in your prayers and. He was another speaker that um, would always spend time and always um, didn't mind if you tried to talk to him in a language because I would always mess up and, he, you know, he'd laugh and we'd talk and he'd laugh at me some more. But it was always good laughs, you know, and so uh, definitely just remember their families and your thoughts and your prayers. And at this time, we're going to go ahead and pause for a moment of silence. Mudo, mudo, mudo. All right, Florence, what we got going on in the All government right. side of things? Well, on August 6, 2024, Congresswoman Stephanie Bice visited local leaders across the 5th District, including Chief Lewis J. Johnson, Assistant Chief Brian T. Palmer, and John Tasuda, Tas Tasuda III. Among the topics of discussion were the nation's pursuit to settle the mineral claims, the tribal service area, and the limitations of serving members outside of the reservation boundaries due to certain limitations and restrictions of the grant-funded programs, and upcoming federal tax reform legislation. Congresswoman, Congresswoman Bice was impressed with the transformative investment at the Mississippi Mission Grounds funded by ARPA. Um, and then you can see a picture of that on the Facebook page. And then also... Uh, we have a band meeting. You follow band will be meeting on Thursday, September 5th, 2024 via Zoom meeting. The meeting ID is 514-267-6354. Once again, that's for the You Follow Band meeting on Thursday, September 5th, 2024. Um, then also the Tezuki Harjo Band will have their band meeting Thursday, September 5th at 6 p.m. at the new council house. And then also... Uh, the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma will be closed on Monday, September 2nd, 2024, in observance of Labor Day. So those offices will be closed. Um, and let's go ahead and get into our Nation Days. A lot of, lot of events going mm -hmm. on. And so if you want to know the latest happenings of the Seminole Nation Days, there is a Facebook page. Joe, what's the name of that Facebook page? Seminole Nation Day celebration. So if you're on Facebook and you want to see some of the promos that's happening, I suggest you go follow Seminole Nation Day celebration. And that's not to be confused with the nation's Facebook or also the community and events Facebook page. But there you will see some of the things like the 2024 Seminole Nation Day concert series that we have going on and the headliner for the 21st is going to be spencer batiste and doc native all the way from florida they are mtv vma award winners aifi festival winners native and global music award winners and so that night the concerts will start around 5 p.m at the Mikasiki Mission on the main stage and opening is also the South Canadian Saints as well as the Chabon Tiger Band all the way from Oklahoma City. If you remember Chabon, he opened under the Mikasiki Arena right around 11 o'clock last year. As soon as the parade was done, their band hit. And man, can they play some blues? And I think he's got some original music. Uh, coming out and you might have a cd ready for sale too during that time and so again this is going to be the seminole nation days concert happening that night usually from five to ten 
and right in the middle of the concert, Josiah and Florence, mm -hmm. you might take note that the Chodo Choga Skotka second annual tournament will be happening on the main stage. If you're not quite show, sure what Chodo Choga Skotka is, Flo, what is that? Rock, paper, scissors. Yes, sir. And so if you're if you want to get involved with the rock, paper, scissors tournament, second annual, and it's all due to the promote the language because it's how do you in say it in the language Chodo Florence? Choga Escotka. Chodo Choga Escotka. And so the um there'll be two age categories. I believe it's like five to twelve and then thirteen and up. Mm -hmm. And then the two winners will go on the main stage during the concerts. And um, battle it out for the grand prize. I mm -hmm. believe it's like a hundred dollars for that grand prize. Oh. And so there's not an entry fee or Can anything. Can we enter? Employees are unable to <gasps> to register for this year's okay. total. I'll let y'all go. Language I'll employees. Let go this Language year. employees. Language I'll employees. I'll let y'all go this year. So, <laughs> all right. And what else you got, Florence? Um, and then also Seminole Nation Days, five k and one mile. Are going to be um, September 21st. Registration begins at 7 a.m. The one mile run slash walk begins at 8 a.m. And then the 5K begins at 8.15 a.m. I was supposed to do that. I was really, I say I was training for it. I did like two days of doing a mile and then I gave up. I remember you started yes. on the treadmill. <laughs> yes. I wasn't going to ask though. <laughs> well. And so just so you know, <laughs> and so everyone knows, most of the events this year will be out at the Mikasiki Mission. However, so that includes the parade, car show, all the concerts, the the carnival rides, all at the Mikasiki Mission. However, to reduce some of the traffic that morning, the 5K and one mile fun run will take place downtown Seminole. And so um, when you're talking about where you wanna run or trying to find a place, that's gonna be downtown. So that's, I believe might be the only event Outside of the uh, the pageants that takes place earlier in the week, mm -hmm. um, the Seminole Nation Days 5K will be downtown Seminole, and everything else will be at the mission this year. And if you want more information, you can call 405-652-1167. Yep. And then also the 2024 Seminole Nation Days co-ed three-on-three Three by three, three by three basketball tournament three September twenty first, Mikasiki Mission Gym, sixteen team limit, six person roster, one Most female must be on the court at all times. Games start at eight a.m. Games are fifteen minutes or first to twenty one. So if you hit them threes, you only need seven shots. For any questions or to sign up. Contact Jerome Harrison, 405-981-9631. All right, and then 2024 youth basketball, comp youth basketball competitions, ages 8 through 17, September 21st, 2024. Um, they will start immediately after that three-on-three -three tournament. Um, there will be a free throw contest, three-point contest. First, second, and third places will receive gift cards. And those age categories vary from 8 to 17 years. For any questions, you can also contact Jerome Harrison at 405-981-9631. The kids go marching three by three. Hurrah. 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 <laughs> also, the, 24, <laughs> or the 2024 Seminole Nation Days four-man scramble golf tournament which will be held on Friday, September 20th. Registration will be at 8 a.m. Shotgun begins at 9 a.m. Location is the Jimmy Austin Golf Course at 400 Fairway Drive in Seminole, Oklahoma. For more information, you can email golf at SeminoleNationCasinos.com. Again, that's golf. G-O-L-F. Golf at SeminoleNationCasinos.com. Limit of 22 teams. Please make checks payable to Seminole Nation Gaming Enterprise. Golf. Motto. You're welcome, Florence. All right. And in other news, uh, vendor applications are now available for the Seminole Nation days. You can visit the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma website to visit the rules visit to view the rules and regulations as well as downloading the vendor application at www.sno-innocent.gov 
All right, and then also the 2024 Seminole Nation Days Cornhole Tournament. Double elimination Saturday, September 21st. Bags fly straight up at noon. Mm -hmm. Bags and boards will be provided. 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 Registration provided. starts at 11 a.m. for the first 40 teams. And $20 entry fee per team. 21 for upper, 11 for lower. And then cash prizes for first, second, and third place. Bonus entry fees added to the prize pot. So if you're if you're a cornholer, make sure you come and throw some bags. That would be your turn, Florence. Oh, <laughs> yeah, come throw some bags. <laughs> I don't really play cornhole; like I'm not good at it. So I just I'm just like I hope they do good. <laughs> I hope everybody does good. You never played beanbag toss when you was a kid. I I mean yeah, but. Now they call it cornhole. So. What about, okay, so I would say the equivalent of mm -hmm. the beanbag toss is when you're taking off your shoes and your socks at night and you know how you fold up your socks mm -hmm. and then you throw them into the basket. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of like at home cornhole. And, no, you, oh, you go over? Oh, okay. For some reason it makes sense to say like it's kind of like shuffleboard, but you throw it. All right, so the oh. co-ed <laughs> volleyball <laughs> tournament. Stop. <laughs> the 2024 Seminole Nation Days Co-Ed Volleyball Tournament is also taking place on September 21st. First place wins sweatshirts, second long sleeves, third t-shirts. Ten-man rosters games will start at 9 a.m. at the Mikasiki Mission Grounds. Their $100, $100 entry fee deadline to enter is September the 17th. For any questions, con contact Gary Lena. 405-287-0034. Shout out to Gary Lena. Then Seminole Nation Day's car show tra at the Transportation Building at the Mikasiki Mission Sunday, September 22nd. Last week, our special guest kind of talked a little bit about this. Um, so, introducing the brand new Res Ride category. If you ain't got no AC, your window don't work, something, bring them down there, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., there's going to be a tire giveaway at 11 a.m. There will be food and drink vendors, free hot dogs. It's a $20 entry fee, and registration is from 8 to 11. So if you have any questions, call 405-563-7999. You basically just described my car, Florence. That's, That's not a res too. ride. That ain't no res ride. Too. A res <laughs> ride is missing a hub. It's also <laughs> got mismatched tires. The door panel is mm -hmm. off because it's cut different color paint. Different color paint. It's chipping too. Yeah, it's the the <laughs> clear coat is all chipped away, and it's the windshield fade, is yeah. cracked right up the middle. If it has a windshield, <laughs> if it has a windshield, they can probably even set it up on blocks. If they, I, I, not better, blocks. I better not say that. I better not say that. Dang but it. if you have questions on how to get your res ride to the car show. Or if it has to be drivable, you might give them a phone call. Did you did you tell them the number? Yeah. Or All if right. it even is a res ride. Yeah, it just might be a regular. It might be time car. to just let it go. <laughs> 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 All right, and now also the Pumajuligi Shaka Bunny the Elder Games, Friday September twentieth, twenty twenty four, from nine to two at the Senior Citizens Building located at the Mikasiki Mission. For 55 and up, there's a fitness walk, paper airplane throw, jacks, beanbag toss, wheelchair race, ladder toss, softball throw, football throw, lunches provided, door prizes, first, second, and third places. A lot of, looks like a lot of things to do for our elders and to kind of stay out of the heat that day from 9 to 2. Uh, feel free to go over there for more information. Contact Jalen Jones, director of OAP, 405-233-4441. Woohoo! All right, and the Seminole Nation Arts and Cultural Committee held its first patchwork symposium the evening of August 22nd at the Mikasiki Mission. Seminole patchwork artist Sheila Little Harjo, Ella Coleman, Stephanie Lambert, in honor of her mother, Patricia Yeager, Sheena Logan and Cynthia Yerby all shared their inspiring journeys and showcased some of their beautiful work. The evening concluded with remarks and questions from the audience. A full video of the evening will be released soon on the Seminole Nation YouTube channel. So, 
All right, and then just a friendly reminder, the Boys and Girls Club at the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma will be closed on Monday, September 2nd, in observance of Labor Day. Woohoo. All right, and then Seminole Nation Diabetes Program. Dang, my mic wasn't working. Fitness Challenge, team of two, one team member. <laughs> Stop. One team member must be enrolled Native American, open to the public. Team with most body fat percentage loss. <laughs> Y'all quit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Boss, finish it. Finish, please. <laughs> the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma Diabetes Program presents a fitness challenge. Team of two. One team member must be enrolled Native American and it's open to the public. Teams with the most body fat percentage loss wins the total cash accumulated. $30 entry fee per team. You can register to sign up at the Jafigna Wellness Center, but you must weigh in and pay by September 3rd. Uh, you can call 405 652 1167 for more information or email Kyla Harjo or Leah Scott at harjo.k or scott.l at sno innocent.gov. All right. And also from the nation's diabetes program, chair aerobics classes will start or classes have started. They've been going since August 6th. They are every Tuesday at 10 a.m. at the Seminole Nation OAP building and Thursdays at 10 a.m. at the New Life Church. For more information, you can call 405-584-7923. All right. And the Choga Delummy August issue is now available and um, able to be viewed online or downloaded at the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma website, which is sno innocentgovernor Hard copy should be hitting your mailboxes soon if it hasn't already. And if you have a story to tell the communications department, an accomplishment, or local tribal business shout-outs for the Choga Delummy or Seminole Nation Radio, you too can email seminolemedia at gmail.com for consideration in the next community spotlight. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skip down here real quick. All right. Seminole Nation Princess Pageant, Thursday, September 19th at 630 at the Seminole State College Enoch, K Enoch Kelly Haney Center. Everyone is welcome to attend. Once again, that's the Seminole Nation Princess Pageant at 630 on September 19th. All right. And then also from the higher ed department, um, extended hours starting again on Tuesday, September 3rd. Thursday, September 5th, and Friday, September 13th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the uh, Higher Education Office, which is 630 North Main in Seminole, Oklahoma, which is just south of the Pink Laundry, and then also the Seminole Nation Higher Education BIA Scholarship. Online application submission and document uploads are due by September 14th, so that time's Coming up quickly, the office is closed by 5 p.m., so make sure you get it in before then. And then the highly anticipated mm -hmm. Ice Cream Social coming up August 29th, which is Thursday from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Higher Ed Office. You can RSVP by calling Dana at 405-241-6801. That's only two days from now. Yep. Do you have Jake's... Um, why don't you go ahead and do Oh. Oh. The did you know for today? Um hello. Do y'all have some thought pondering music? Mudo. Jeremy, did you know? A famous American painter by the name of George Catlin had done a vast amount of images of landscapes in the 1830s, but most famously, what he's known for is his exquisite work on his portraits of American Indians along with his 10 depictions of seminal men and women. Catlin's work can be viewed in the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. Get it, sir. Oh, Mongo. Get it. Oh, get it. Inga. Get it. Get it. Inga. Mado from HPO. And Jake Tiger sent that to us mm -hmm. this morning. So, Mado, Jake. And also, the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma Lyheap Cooling Assistance began on June 10th. If you uh, need some help with some cooling assistance, I do believe that there is um, 
not funding caps, but there is a budget, so they'll probably be first come, first serve. There are some income requirements. So make sure if you have any questions, call them over there at Social Services, 405-786-5025. All right, and then there are several cooking demonstrations going on. I believe the – well, actually – the last one is going to be today. Um, so they will be making a Mediterranean salad at the Alabama Kasadi Tribal Town at Leving Beaver Building in Wetumpka, Oklahoma. That is going to be at 2 p.m. So you still have time. Um, if you want more information about that, you can call 405-257-6282. If that payday check hasn't hit because payday is on Thursday, you might be able to make it mm-hmm. there for lunch in it. Help you out. (laughs) All right. And then also the community and events Facebook page. We talked about this earlier, but just know the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma does have three different Facebook pages. One is the main Seminole of Oklahoma government page where all the nation's news and happenings takes place. The second place or the second page is the community and events Facebook page, which will host like if you have a taco sale, a garage sale, if you're trying to raise money for your kid for extracurricular activities, that is the place that you would send an email to SeminoleMedia at gmail.com and they'll be able to get that posted and shared for you. And then the third one is is the Seminole Nation Day celebration page, which has all the Seminole Nation Day celebration and event flyers on there and more to come as they are posted. But however, the Seminole Public Schools Johnson O'Malley Parent Zoom Meeting is taking place on the 29th at 6 p.m. There is a Zoom link available, and that is located on the Community and Events Facebook page. Hmm. All right, and then coming up... Um Seminole Language Class, Tuesday, August 27th from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Mikasiki Mission uh, Senior Citizen Center. Um, and that will be free, and everyone is invited. Drinks and sandwiches will be provided. So. All right, and then also birthday shout-outs to Zelma Wynn, Roland Bender, Helena Yargi, Mackie Moore, Nathan Williams, Darren Bender. Anthony Conley, Timmy Proctor, Samantha Larney, Huli the Cooley Harjo, Jack Tiger, Jack, uh, yeah, Jack Tiger, Janet Malin, Walker Williams, and so Janitska Danita Fetchki Ojibashje. Woohoo! All right, and then Flo, do you have any last words for today? Um, I think I've talked enough. <laughs> <laughs> I well, need to sit down. Uh oh. Ama. <laughs> uh oh. Well, um, you want us? To, you want me to take us out? Take us out. All righty, Mudo, everybody for listening. You can catch the rebroadcast of this radio show on the Facebook page, YouTube, and the tribal website sno-innocent.gov for the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma every Wednesday around 8 p.m. If you have news or announcements you want to share with the community or events Facebook page, please email communication staff at seminolemedia at gmail dot com or call four zero five. Quit, boss. Four zero five six five two seven two five one. And as always, tune in every Tuesday at eleven AM right here on KWSH ninety seven point seven FM or the legendary twelve sixty AM and streaming live on KWSH Radio dot com worldwide. We'll see you next week. Hadam to Tatis.